friends i'm umesh and today i'm going to show you practical use of interrupt uh, with respect to um, timer using atmega 32hf so in this example tutorial we will be using a timer one and uh, as you can see on the screen i have uh, shown you a list of uh, interrupt vectors so in atmega 32a we have a uh, 21 different interrupt vectors we will be using timer one so we will be using timer one timer 1 compare a vector uh, from this 21 different interrupt vectors in between this there are some internal um, interrupts and some external interrupts I don't want to go in details uh, of uh, whole interrupts because it's a very vast uh, part of a microcontroller you need a lot of time to understand this and a lot of study but the goal of this tutorial is to get you hands-on with uh, interrupt so I think it's not a very good idea to spend a lot of time to discuss about a whole lot of details. I request you to go to my Dropbox and download all relevant documentation and read a little bit about interrupts before you proceed for this. So let's begin with writing the codes and implement a real applications. So let's come to the Atmel Studio 6.1 and from this tutorial I'm not going to show you how to set up a workplace and environment to write your code. So once um, I recommend you if you are new to this tutorial, uh, please go back and check uh, previous videos uh, to help you to understand how to how to come up with uh, setting up the environment so that you will start write start writing code. Anyways, let's begin. So very first, we will be using interrupt in our example code. So let's add interrupt which we need for our applications. So after adding interrupts, uh, let's come to the main routine, which is um, the part of your uh, code where the main um, uh, main task begins. So let's uh, set the data direction register for port B, and let's set it in B0 as an output. And, uh, and then the, what we need is since we will be using uh, timer one uh, TCC R1B we need to set the bits and uh, in our previous examples we have used no prescaler but in this case we will be using a prescaling factor 64 if you go to uh, data sheets you will find uh, after interrupts if you look inside the timer we will be using timer once so obviously 16 bit timer counter one register we should have to look into and timer description sorry register description and uh, tcc r1b and you will see if we want a 64 prescaling factor we need a cs10 to be become an one and cs11 to become an one so let's do that in our code so let's say one in cs10 and put one to CS11, and also we need uh, to uh, activate uh, CTC mode. So we have to say one into the waveform generation mode stands for WGM12, and that's all what we need. And the next step is we have to use a timer mask, and then or equals two and put one into OCIE 1A okay so we will be using uh, timer 1 and we will be using A because as I told you before that we will be using uh, where it is we will be using timer 1 compare A registers to hold uh, the data so we have used OCIE 1A uh, I will explain this little bit later but for the time being I will write the next line which is important so let's say OCR1A and we need to match this OCR1A to 15624 so if you count from 0 it would be um, 15625 so as I promised you that I will explain this little bit so uh, let's start again to understand this you already know until this line so I want to start here so TIMSK that is the timer master register and we will be initializing OCIE1A that stands for output compare 
interrupt enable for register a because we will be using vector which is a timer one compare a vector and this ocr1 a should equal to 15624 because whatever the value uh, that would be there in our tcc r1b because we know from our previous tutorial that tc nt1 of tcc r1 of the timer one that means uh, tc nt1 holds the count of timer one and when this output compare register ocr1 a will matches to 15624 which will be similar to tc nt1 and then it takes when thus at that moment this mask register enables the interrupt so when tc nt mode is enabled and when thus um, whatever the counts are in this case 15624 matches to the tc nt1 then interrupts will enable in this case and this is all what we have to do by writing this code and if you are not sure what is happening here i request you to go to my dropbox and uh, download all those uh, detailed user guides and read it again and again until you understand and I'm sure you will be, uh, you would get success to understand uh, the whole lot of concept. It's not easy in the beginning, but it's not so difficult that someone would not get this. So be positive and proceed with the uh, with the tutorial. And um, this is what we have done all the configuration part. And next thing what we want to do is we have to um, take a routine, which is ISR interrupt service routine and we have to write this uh, routine so we have a uh, block of code where we initialize our interrupt service routine and as we know we will be using a vector that is a uh, timer one compare a vector and uh, in this block of code we have to write the action that we want to do when interrupt occur so what we want to do is we have the port b and we have uh, connected an LED to pin B0 that is the pin number one of a microcontroller and let me change here a little bit so it toggles the LED when interrupts occur and there is one thing which is still left here we have to we have to initialize or we have to call the global interrupt that is SEI and that's all what we need to do just save this project and then go to build and build your interrupt test i hope we would not have any error hopefully <laughs> i'm not sure okay so we don't have any error uh, we are fortunate enough in this case and uh, let's